In this series of the Grumman 2 teardrop build, we're going to build a mattress. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and remove the right side frame and the fenders. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start out. I'll put a grid line starting in going up six inches. Um, I know in the earlier video I was saying a four inch mattress, but uh, I personally like a six inch. So we'll come down and uh, put that there. Now uh, this is part of, not part of any layer right now, or it's part of the layer zero actually. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and name a layer and we'll call it mattress. And then we'll go ahead and make this a group so we, we'll have to actually click out of there and then highlight that group or that and then we'll call it make it a group now we'll go up here to entity and we'll name it now it's a mattress so now we've got that named and then material I like to use the carpet and textiles for these and you can choose whichever one you want we'll go ahead and color it and now you can't see it very well because it's right on the same surface as the bulkhead group but as soon as we drag it out, uh, you'll go ahead and you'll, you'll see it. So what I would like to do is come back out here. And I like to keep this bottom corner here so you'll see that. So we'll open up that group. We'll use the push-pull tool. And then you need to make sure you go over to the surface that you want to push-pull. Hit the control key. So it'll leave that surface and pull a new surface all the way to the end. And you drag it down right to where you make contact with that side. And there you go. You've got your mattress. Now, in the earlier video where we actually made these holes, I had set a 4-inch uh, mattress. So now we don't have enough room for our pillows. Uh, they'll be pushing off maybe into those holes. So what we're going to do is make these holes shorter, uh, smaller, so we have more room for a pillow. So what we'll do here, it's real easy to change that. Uh, we'll select that part, and I should have put a grid line on there, so we'll do that. Um, we want to come up uh, two inches, actually, because to give us enough room. And now you click on the Move tool, and go to this line, and you click on it, and then just drag it right up to there. Now you want to make sure you drag it in the right axis because if you don't, you're going to distort it. It's going to be all ugly and weird. So you just drag it up to there, click on it, and then go ahead and click out of that so you don't uh, mess it up. And then there you go. It's a lot smaller. Uh, delete the guides. And uh, so now you have it. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn these layers back on. And now we have that. Zoom in here a little bit. And now I, what we need to do is clean the model up because there's a lot of parts that we've deleted and stuff. So what you need to do is go up here to Windows, open up Model Information. Let me drag this down so you can see it. Click on Statistics and then Purge Unused. And you'll see down here uh, the materials, the layers and stuff, uh, 14, 26. If I hit Purge Unused, uh, 14, well, the materials drop considerably. Um, so that will make your file size smaller. You can check for problems. Should not have any problems. Uh, again, it says no problems. But if you're having surfaces that don't line up right or whatever, it, it can fix them. And now uh, I'll go ahead and show you real quick how to rotate something. This is the rotate function. We'll click on the hatch group, go to the hinge point, and you can click pretty much anywhere, but I click down there and then just move the mouse. You don't have to hold the, the key down or the mouse button down. And that's it. Uh, you can do the door similar. I don't know if I'll have enough time in this video, but it's a little bit harder to do. Because you got to make sure that you're, you get the compass, the blue compass. There you go. You click out here, and then we'll move it around to there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't have enough time to show you much more.